Haile Selassie was a prominent Ethiopian statesman and emperor, born on July 23, 1892, in Ejersagora, Ethiopia. He is remembered for his influential leadership during a critical period in Ethiopian history and his advocacy for Pan-Africanism on the world stage. Selassie was born as Tafari Makoen and was the son of Ras Makoen, a prominent Ethiopian general. His mother was Yeshimbet Ali Abba Jafar, the daughter of the king of the Walla region. He was the youngest of ten children and was well-educated, receiving a formal education in the Ethiopian Orthodox Church and in secular subjects such as history and geography. In 1916, Selassie became regent for the Empress Sudatu, his cousin, and in 1930, he was crowned Emperor of Ethiopia. He took the name Haile Selassie, which means, Might of the Trinity. During his reign, he implemented a series of reforms and modernization efforts aimed at strengthening Ethiopia's economy and infrastructure. One of Selassie's most significant accomplishments was his successful resistance to Italian aggression during the Second Italo-Ethiopian War 1935-1936. Despite facing overwhelming military force, Selassie mobilized his army and sought international assistance, eventually gaining support from the League of Nations. His determination and leadership in the face of adversity earned him widespread international acclaim and helped to inspire other African countries in their struggles for independence. Selassie's reign was also marked by internal challenges, including political unrest and armed rebellions. He sought to address these issues through a series of reforms, including the creation of a new constitution, the establishment of a centralized government, and the modernization of the military. In 1960, Selassie helped to found the Organization of African Unity OAU, an alliance of African nations aimed at promoting unity, economic cooperation, and political stability on the continent. He became a leading voice in the movement for Pan-Africanism, advocating for the end of colonialism and the establishment of independent African states. Despite his achievements, Selassie's reign was not without controversy. He was criticized for his autocratic rule and the suppression of political opposition, and there were accusations of human rights abuses and corruption. In 1974, Selassie was deposed in a military coup, and he died under mysterious circumstances the following year. Today, Selassie remains an important figure in Ethiopian history and African politics. He is revered by members of the Rastafari movement, a religious and cultural movement that emerged in Jamaica in the 1930s and sees Selassie as a messianic figure. His legacy also includes his contributions to the promotion of Pan-Africanism and the fight against colonialism and racism. Selassie's legacy also extends to his role in modernizing Ethiopia. During his reign, he implemented a series of ambitious development programs that aimed to modernize the country and reduce poverty. These efforts included the construction of roads, schools, and hospitals, as well as the establishment of a national airline and a modern telecommunications system. In addition to his domestic achievements, Selassie played an important role in promoting peace and stability in Africa. He was a vocal advocate for African unity and helped to mediate conflicts in other African countries such as Somalia and the Congo. His efforts to promote peace and stability earned him the respect of many African leaders and earned him the nickname, the Father of Africa. Despite his contributions, Selassie's reign was not without its challenges. In the late 1960s and early 1970s, Ethiopia experienced a severe drought and famine that claimed the lives of hundreds of thousands of people. Selassie's government was criticized for its slow response to the crisis and for not doing enough to alleviate the suffering of the Ethiopian people. In 1974, Selassie was overthrown in a military coup led by a group of young officers known as the Derg. The new government abolished the monarchy and established a Marxist-Leninist state. Selassie was placed under house arrest, and his health deteriorated rapidly. In August 1975, he died under mysterious circumstances, and his body was buried in an unmarked grave. Despite his controversial legacy, Selassie remains an important figure in Ethiopian history and African politics. His vision of Pan-Africanism and African unity continues to inspire people across the continent, and his contributions to modernizing Ethiopia have had a lasting impact on the country. His life and legacy serve as a reminder of the struggles and achievements of African leaders in the fight for independence and the pursuit of economic and political development.